Welcome to my series on techniques for internet chess. Today I want to go through a technique which I have named the low time stunner. And it goes like this. In this game I am playing black against an international master under the alias uh, Igor. And um, here's the technique. My opponent in this position he's um, threatening to make a queen by promoting his pawn. And I can do very little to stop it except by giving a lot of checks. Okay, queen e4 check, rook d3, queen c6 check, king d2. And now my opponent is very low on time. He has 6 seconds left while I have 24. Queen g2 check, king e3, queen g1 check, king e4, queen e1 check, king d4, queen g1 check, king c4, queen c1 check, king b5, queen f4. Oh, and on this move, I have no checks left, so white is going to queen next move. I think I, I played inaccurately. There was a way to um, give perpetual check, but I missed it. And now I can't stop white from making a queen, so I have to play any random move. And now d8 queen, and now my opponent hasn't lost on time yet, despite what the clock says. He has less than one second left. And now I throw in just a random check, which I call a low time stunner. So queen c4 check. Even though the queen can be captured by two different pieces, white was probably not expecting this move. And it uh, wastes his time. And since he had less than one second left, he lost on time. Because um, he wasn't able to react to the low time stunner fast enough. So this is a te technique to use in internet chess. It's not highly practical, but um, I find it... Uh, fun to use and it can be useful in some situations.